This is not a photograph. What? This is an artist's rendering. Immerse yourself in a celestial enigma. As dawn breaks, you find yourself atop a serene hill, gazing at the horizon. A fleeting shimmer catches your eye, a mysterious streak that momentarily lights up the sky before vanishing into the abyss. Was it just a meteor or perhaps something more profound? Echoing this very human curiosity, astronomers in their cosmic playground detected an enigmatic object darting through our solar system. Moving with such velocity, it was clear this was not of our solar realm. This celestial nomad was christened Oumuamua. But the cosmic plot thickened when renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson divulged a perspective that sent shockwaves around the world. Journey with universal narratives as we decipher the mystique of Oumuamua and dissect Neil deGrasse Tyson's eye-opening insights. What tales does this interstellar traveler narrate, and how does it reshape our cosmological perceptions? The turning point in this narrative arrived with the discovery of Oumuamua on October 18, 2017, by PanStars 2, a telescope located in Hawaii. This object, upon initial observation, appeared as more of a streak than a pinpoint of light due to its rapid traversal across the sky. The name Oumuamua was inspired by the Hawaiian term for advanced scout, paying homage to the telescope that first identified it. As time passed, Oumuamua faded in brightness to the point of invisibility for all but the most powerful ground-based telescopes. The underlying factors that led to much debate and uncertainty centered around the limited observation window and the elusive nature of Oumuamua's physical characteristics. Initial impressions suggested that it resembled either a comet or an asteroid. However, its extreme distance made it impossible to discern surface features. Yet its brightness across various wavelengths hinted at a resemblance to water-rich asteroids or dormant comets. The absence of outgassing or cometary activity, usually observed when comets warm up and release gases, added to the enigma surrounding this interstellar visitor. Outgassing in comets typically acts as a form of thrust, causing them to change their orbital trajectories. The astronomical community was eager to ascertain the significance of Oumuamua's discovery. And two unexpected outcomes emerged from the examination of its luminosity fluctuations. Firstly, Oumuamua exhibited varying brightness, indicating a rotation period of approximately eight hours, albeit in a pattern that didn't precisely repeat. This tumbling rotation, although perturbed, wasn't unheard of for smaller objects within our solar system. The second unexpected aspect of Oumuamua's rotation was that it occasionally appeared nearly 10 times dimmer than expected. This phenomenon couldn't be explained by external characteristics alone, ruling out the notion of a spherical object. Instead, two plausible configurations emerged, one resembling a pancake with axis ratios of approximately 6 to 1, and another resembling a cigar, with axis ratios of about 8 to 1 to 1. The pancake shape seemed more plausible due to its higher likelihood of being observed edge-on. However, the public had already embraced the notion of Oumuamua as a long, needle-like object. Oumuamua's origins became a hot topic of discussion, resulting in numerous theories proposed within months of its discovery. Some speculated that it could be a remnant of an earlier generation of planets partially melted in the atmosphere of a dying giant star. Alternatively, it might be a simple asteroid or dormant comet expelled from its home planetary system. Despite heated debates, all the models presented in the scholarly literature maintained a naturalistic approach. One particular challenge to conventional models arose from Oumuamua's orbital measurements as it departed from Earth. Hubble Space Telescope and large telescopes in Chile provided precise measurements of its orbital track up to two months after discovery. These measurements indicated that Oumuamua's trajectory deviated from a purely gravitational path by several tens of thousands of kilometers. Something beyond gravity had nudged it away from the sun, sparking hypotheses that it might be a man-made object rather than a natural one. This possibility drew parallels to Arthur C. Clarke's 1973 book, Rendezvous with Rama, in which comet hunters stumble upon a long, cylinder-shaped object that is later confirmed to be an alien spacecraft. Planetary scientists began scrutinizing their data for any peculiarities that might suggest artificial origin. 
Astronomers even playfully proposed the name Rama for the visitor. However, the real object did not align with Clark's vision. It was smaller, exhibited typical solar system comet and asteroid colors, and displayed an uncontrolled tumbling rotation. Furthermore, Oumuamua was already leaving our solar system, making further investigation impossible. One notable theory that gained significant attention was the possibility that Oumuamua could be a light sail, an extremely thin sheet used for spacecraft propulsion via radiation pressure. This theory gained prominence when Avi Loeb and his colleagues evaluated Oumuamua as a potential artifact. Their research focused on the survival of thin objects in interstellar space and proposed that Oumuamua might have been such a construct, perhaps a discarded fragment from a launch vehicle. However, Loeb's bold claims and his book, Extraterrestrial, the first sign of intelligent life beyond Earth, generated substantial debate. Critics argued that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and Loeb's assertions lacked the required level of proof. The philosophical argument centered on whether one should presume a natural or artificial origin when analyzing such objects. While some scientists considered the possibility of an artificial origin for Oumuamua, most maintained a naturalistic perspective. Various natural models were proposed to explain its features, although questions remained. The idea that Oumuamua was a flat, solid, and reflective sheet didn't align with the data. Detailed analysis suggested that such an object would require specific conditions that weren't met. Additionally, a light sail tumbling through space would exhibit noticeable accelerations to the side, which contradicted Oumuamua's behavior. In conclusion, Oumuamua remains an enigmatic visitor from interstellar space. While the debate surrounding its origins has sparked controversy and diverse theories, the absence of conclusive evidence for an artificial origin has led most scientists to pursue naturalistic explanations. Oumuamua's passage through our solar system has taught us valuable lessons about the challenges of identifying extraterrestrial technology and the complexities of celestial objects from beyond. The search for answers continues as we eagerly await future discoveries in our cosmic backyard.